Rock Buzz, how are we doing? So I want to talk about a very serious issue that's been on my mind lately. I've racked my brain for hours and hours over this fact. This fact I'm going to let you know right now. How the fuck are the California raisins a thing? <laughs> like, think about it. It's an an for those of you that don't know, it's an anthropomorphic band that is raisins and they play the best of Motown and rock and roll. This was a sun-made production, like uh, sun-made raisins. Back in the day, they had this idea, or the concept of the idea. Let's go back to yesteryear, right? You've got the meeting. It's the like late 70s, early 80s. Everyone's doing cocaine. And uh, the, the CEO is like, okay, guys, we need a win right now. And I'm looking for literally anything. What have you got? And then Tony, who's fresh off his newest bump, was just like, oh shit, no, I, I got one, I got one, hands up. Okay, picture this, it's a band, right? But they're raisins. And the CEO's like, I fucking love it. And the thing is, so did America. Because the California raisins, while raisin sales did not go up at all, <laughs> went on to uh, be nominated for four Grammys. They had a video game, a cartoon show. There was numerous amounts of material. Somewhere out there in the world right now is a kid with California raisin bed sheets, and that kid fucks all the time. He is getting it. Because, like, I'm not gonna lie, if I walked in and a girl had uh, California raisin bed sheets, she'd be like, where do you want me? Take me wherever. I'm yours. And it, like that was a thing, which is baffling to me because like we've had mascots that that weren't that. Think back to you know before yesteryear. Because right now, look at McDonald's. You've got a clown, creepy. You've got a clown, but their previous mascot. They're like, we want to be wholesome about it. Picture him, he's a man in a top hat, he's got a monocle, a full suit, and also his head is a cheeseburger. And his name is Mayor McCheese. That was a real thing that happened and America said, okay, we're cool with that. It's a weird time. I was in Minneapolis recently, um, and uh, I love to walk around the Bay City, like, cause, you know, I'm from Bumbug Nowhere. Like, that's a true fact. We have no stoplights in my county, so I like to go on an adventure. And uh, one of the people I was with, like, oh, you shouldn't do that at all. And I was like, why? And like, you could get murdered. And I crunched the numbers in my head, like, and in my 28 years of existence, this is where the statistics come in. I haven't been murdered one time. <laughs> Not even once. Those are better odds than LeBron James has. Like, he's shooting like, what, 89% at best? I'm 100%, never been murdered. I've done the math on it, I'm invincible. I'm very proud of myself. And they're like, well, you could, like, I don't know, get an accident and maybe die. <laughs> no, no, no. My father has died three times legally, and he still walks the earth today. So based on the fact that I haven't died and the stock of my family, I'm an immortal god. Bow before me. I did it. While I may be an immortal god, um, I have worked, learned one thing about myself. I am, uh, for those of you that can't tell, I'm six foot two. I'm 220 pounds, which would you think would make me a tough person, and I like to think that too. But uh, I know I'm not because I'm a grown adult man that cries during Pixar films. Because how can you not, right? It's insane. It's like, Pixar meetings are a lot like, okay, we've got the next idea, but how can we make Matt cry? <laughs> Very easily, apparently. Because you look through the numbers, right? You've got Toy Story 1, and eh, not so much, but Toy Story 2, Jesse sings, tears. Toy Story 3, they had that moment where like, they accept death, and that was a beautiful moment. Cried at that. Uh, Toy Story 4 got me twice. Up hit you early with that shit. First 15 minutes, like, we've got a dead grandparent. 
we'll feast on your tears. <laughs> You're welcome. And the worst part is, is I can't like take a date to a Pixar movie because then the five-year-old that's with his family will like look over me as I'm sobbing my eyes out and he'll be like, you really need a sack up right now. <laughs> you little bitch. Uh, this is my last one. I've already burned through five minutes. So uh, Thanksgiving was not too long ago. Uh, it was the month of November. I participated in No Shave November and my mustache was there. <laughs> My, my half-Hispanic cousin, who is 10, took one look at me and he was like, just give up, man. Because I can grow all of the pubes on my chin and the dirt on my lip, and it took me six weeks because I started two weeks early, because I was like, I'm going to do it this year, and it was just sad. I was proud of it, but it was sad. The worst part is, is that I, I, like, I ran into my sister, because, you know, Thanksgiving, and uh, she can grow a better mustache than I can. And when I told her that, she got real upset about it, which is weird, because I thought it was a compliment. My name is Matt Anderson, guys. Thank you so much. <laughs>